I'm Dr. Taylor Gregory, the VP of Animal Health here at the Greensboro Science Center, and recently we anesthetized two of our epaulet sharks for their annual health exams. To start off their exams, our aquarists will net the sharks out of our touch tank where they live normally. From there, they'll move them to either a holding tank or into a cooler that will go ahead and induce them into anesthesia. Unlike our more land-based animals, sharks take in oxygen through their gills. So an inhalant anesthesia like we can use with some of our mammals and some of our birds isn't gonna work as well. So instead we put a drug into the water called MS-222 that they then take in through their gills to get them into a good plane of anesthesia where we're able to handle them safely and they're able to have the exam relatively stress-free. At the beginning of the exam, we check each shark's microchip in order to make sure that we've properly identified each animal. So that way we can make sure their records match up with each animal. Once the shark is in a good anesthetic plane, well, the first thing we'll do is we'll get a blood sample. To do that, we flip the shark upside down so we can have access to the bottom of the tail because that's where we collect blood from on these sharks. After that, we want to get a good look at the shark's gills since those are really important to their respiratory system. And to do that, we take a scope which basically helps us see into very small spaces and insert that through the gill slit so I can get a magnified inversion of what those gills look like. Once all of that looks good, we can then use that scope too to see into the mouth, but we have to be careful that we don't scratch it on their teeth. And from there, as long as everything looks good and we see no issues, we'll go ahead and move that shark into the recovery tank. That's a tank that has no medications in it, and the shark can start recovering because that takes a little bit of time, and we can do the rest of our exam there. That includes palpation, that includes ultrasound, that includes looking at the eyes, and includes getting body lengths as well as girth measurements, so around the shark. When we move that shark from the anesthetic tank to the recovery tank, we use that time to get a weight on that animal. That involves placing the shark in a specialized net and using a hanging scale, and we do that in transport so we limit the time that shark's out of the water. Once I've completed my exam in the recovery tank, we want that shark to completely recover as quick as possible. So the aquarist will move the shark backwards and forwards and move its tail in order to help stimulate that animal into recovery. So during this exam, there are quite a few people involved because a lot of things we do here on the veterinary side are a team effort between the veterinary team as well as the animal husbandry team. We had a good number of aquarists helping with this exam to help with the catch up and help with managing the animals while they are under anesthesia, as well as we had myself and the veterinary technicians here monitoring the animals. And we had a veterinary extern who was here to learn and get hands-on practice as part of their veterinary education. So once we're all finished with the shark's exam and once they're fully recovered, they're able to go back into their normal tank with all their friends. So our aquarists, once they get the go-ahead from me, will go ahead and move them back and then they'll go back to their normal day. Both sharks look really good for their annual exams with no concerns from my end. It is always a really fun time working with these guys because one, as far as sharks go, they're really cute. And two, they're just a really fun anesthesia. It's fun working with the team and it's fun working with these guys overall.